This is a detailed review of the Engway EP2 Pro e-bike. This review is going to be broken down into a few different areas and I'm also going to show you something that you can easily do in the advanced settings. After unlocking the speed on the Engway EP2 Pro, don't worry, I will show you how to unlock the speed later in the video. We're not at a full charge, so we're just gonna cycle and see if we're on gear five. Whoa, <laughs> oh, quite a lot of talk there. Let's, whoa, <laughs> whoa, that is really fast and very torquey from that rear 750 watt motor. Wow, extremely powerful. Oh, it's so comfortable. Front suspension, 20 inch fat tires. What more could you want? We're on gear seven. I'm not using the accelerator and we're going 40 kilometers an hour. It's very, very windy today. Let's have a look at the brakes. Brakes are not too bad, but I would definitely be cautious if you're going that higher end top speed. We'll also do a test if you ran out of power in the middle of nowhere. Is the bike easy to actually pedal? And the suspension is not too bad quality. You can actually lock the suspension or you can just unlock it for a softer ride. But what I love about this bike is the handlebars are at a really nice height. The seat is probably the best seat I've ever tried on an e-bike. Let's say we drop our gears down to gear one, seven speed. Okay, there we go. So let's say worst case scenario, you're coming home from work, no power at all. You just pedal it like a normal bike. Now, a lot of other bikes in the past that I've tested have had resistance on it, such as the M1 Pro from Fido, which is probably one of the first fat tire bikes to come out. But well, on this is actually quite easy. So I'm on gear one there and there's a lot of wind actually coming towards me. So that's actually quite good to know. Let's shift it onto gear two. Again, quite easy. Gear three. I'm going about 12, 13 kilometers here. Gear four. That's actually really good to know. It's kind of added peace of mind. And as well, another good feature about the Engway EP2 Pro is in fact that the battery is actually quite easy to remove. It's actually contained just in this area here. So you simply pop open the latch and the battery slides out. Of course, you have to remove the key. Now the key, I'm not crazy about the position of the key because you can actually damage that quite easily. So definitely be cautious about that key. Of course you have as well, nice collapsible pedals. Make it a bit more compact for storing if that's the case. Of course, when you assemble the bike, I'll show you a quick video right now. The main point is the stem. You might say, how do you actually fasten the stem? There's a bolt right down below. So make sure you give that a good squeeze. And of course, attach the handlebars before. Get everything in line and then tighten that middle bolt. Very easy to do. Mud guards are a piece of cake to put on. There was videos already online about it. You just attach the front light, rear light, rear rack, seat posts, you just pop down quite easily. And then adjust everything to your own height. Grips are okay quality. They're not amazing. The actual size of this bike, it is really huge. Frame is absolutely gigantic on this. I gotta love how smooth it is. And there's no rattling. There's nothing just clacking about. No annoying sounds, thank God. So the overall build quality of Engway is amazing. So, so far, so good. First of all, thank you to Engway for sending me this bike to review. Let's get on with the video. And by the way, if you have any questions at all about this electric bike, please comment below and I will reply to you to a YouTube short video. Okay, 
As far as portability goes, this ain't light by any means. You have a handle in this area, so you can lift it quite easily. Now, to me, okay, it's manageable. I've had scooters and bikes in the past that are over 40 kilograms, so for this, it's actually not that bad. And as you can see, when you fold the electric bike, you'll be able to put it into the back of an average size car, a small car, you wouldn't be able to fit this in because it is quite long. But from the portability aspect, you can fold the handlebars quite easily. You simply just put down your latch, like so. They fold down, you clap the bike into itself, put it into the back of the car. Portability aspect, no issues at all. Okay, now the way this bike is actually designed is actually quite neat. One of the good things about this bike is that the mud guards on the back are made of a really nice material. They don't wobble and there's no clacking at all from the bike. I gotta say, I'm very impressed with the way Engway, which is what they're actually quite known for when it comes to quality. And I did review one of their scooters in the past and I was blown away by that actual quality. From the mud guards, front mud guard, even the derailer system on this bike, it's not the best well-known brand, but it is actually nice smooth transitioning through those gears. And also the kickstand itself, is actually nice and sturdy. So the whole design aspect of this bike is amazing. And it is a better bike than the Fido M1 Pro. Yes, I said it. Which was the very first fat tire bike, if I'm not mistaken. This blows that Fido bike out of water and it's a lot cheaper. By the way, there is a link right below if you wanna go and have a look at the current prices. And when it comes to the safety of this bike, you have front lights, you have rear lights, and you also get a bell that you attach quite easily. The mechanical brakes actually definitely seem to do the job. And I have no complaints there at all. And one of the good things as well, on this channel I've always gave out about twist throttles. But the twist throttle on this, it has a tiny bit of a dead space which is actually really good because on a lot of twist throttles, as soon as you press that, it just goes with you. But on this you have a bit of a dead space so if I just twist it there nothing happens nothing happens and then the bike just takes off and of course you have five gears five being the highest and one being the lowest speed and of course if you chose the orange color on those winter days that we are coming up to you're going to be a lot more visible you can also get it in a really nice gray and a really nice black okay the comfort of this bike let me just talk about that briefly the saddle here, whatever material it's made of, it's amazing. And it has kind of nice a wide area here. So for them, those long journeys, it actually, you know, it's brilliant. And of course, you actually have the uh, kind of shock absorbers underneath to even cushion in that, that little bit more. And of course, the suspension itself, you can actually lock the suspension. Let me just get the camera again. You can lock the suspension if you want. At the moment, I have it open or you can lock it so there's no movement, but I'd recommend just keeping it open just to have a bit more, you know, of a nicer trip. And if you're going, of course, off-road, it's gonna make it a bit more nicer as well. And you can see, even though the bike is heavy, the suspension has a decent bit of travel, so it's not too bad actually at all. Like, I'm not going easy on the e-bike here. But safety, nice big pedals. Great saddle, really nice wide handlebars. I love it. Okay, overall performance. It has a 750 watt motor on that rear wheel there. And a problem that a lot of people have said is, well, it's limited to 25 kilometers an hour. Well, there is an easy way around that. You need to go into the advanced settings and I'm gonna show you that video right now. First thing to do is to hold down the plus and the minus button and you will be brought to this menu. Next thing is to hold down the minus button and the I button on the right hand side of the module for a few seconds. You will be brought to the advanced settings menu. To go on to the speed option, you press the plus button once. And now you can change the speed. Simply press the I button again. And to increase the speed, you press the plus button. In my case, I put it all the way up to 60 kilometers an hour. And with my weight, I got 50 km h maximum speed on this e-bike. After that, to simply lock in the speed, 
you hold down the I button for a few seconds and you'll be brought back to the main menu. But please bear in mind, if of course your country is restricted with speed, keep it at that speed and only use that top end speed, which is around 50 kilometers an hour, give or take. If you're going on private land or off-road where that speed is actually permitted. But definitely be careful because if you have this on gear 5 and you just go and use the throttle, the torque on it you can see is actually quite strong. So please definitely be careful and the, from the performance standpoint you would easily get up hills on this no problem. This will just drag you up those hills. I've actually seen a person with two people on this bike, one of them was sitting on the back rack and not that I would recommend that, but definitely be careful because the performance of this bike is really strong and if this is your first electric bike, I would absolutely take it easy. Okay, value. Now this is one of the most important things to realize about this electric bike from Engway. The Fido was the first fat tire bike like I mentioned and that is actually still a quite high price and they've upped their prices a lot recently. This bike retails right now as I'm making this video around 1000 euros and in the states it's around 1050 dollars I think and by the way any discount codes I have I will link down below for you if I can to help out if you end up purchasing one of these I think because of the comfort of it the range on it the design of it the stability of it and the overall quality Plus, you have a really nice gear selector there. I gotta say, it is worth every penny, particularly if you're doing, this is who it's for really, if you're doing long range, if you're going to walk every single day, it's for those types of people. It's not from somebody just going from A to B. The reason why I say that is because it's quite a heavy bike, you don't wanna be just constantly taking it out. It is worth every single penny. But who is it for? Well, let me tell you right now, this bike, if you are a beginner to electric bikes, I will definitely be careful about getting one of these because of the sheer power of this electric bike and let alone that, the actual weight of it alone. I think it's for somebody who would particularly go on long journeys, go to work every single day. And I gotta say, you even have that battery that you can take out if you live in an apartment, bring it in and charge it quite easily. So you have everything going for you on the Engway EP2 Pro. So if you have enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe if you love anything electric. And of course, I will talk to you in the next video.